So you want to add tow hooks to a like 99 to 2006 uh, Chevy GMC truck, Suburban, uh, half ton, Tahoe, Yukon, Yukon XL, Sierra. Uh, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, it's pretty simple. Now, one caveat to that is the GMC. So on Chevys, uh, you've got two bolts bolt that goes through the frame and I'll show you on the frame itself. Mine's going to be a little bit different because I've got a um, front receiver hitch. So my installation is going to be different, a little bit different, but same, it's same principle applies. So these, mine did not come with tow hooks. This is two wheel drive and it gets stuck. So the tow hooks are more for, uh, me pulling the Suburban out with the tractor or something than uh, me pulling something else out. But what you've got here is, like I said, two bolts that hold it on. And the GMCs, uh, from what I can tell, you're going to have to either loosen the bumper or take the bumper off. These actually came off a GMC in the junkyard and uh, the, these bolts, so you've got your uh, right side and your left side. Well, when you try to get this bolt out, it hits the bumper. You cannot get this bolt all the way out. And so uh, Chevy doesn't seem to be an issue. It comes right out, but the way the GMC bumper is, at least on the one that I pulled this off of, uh, it hit the bumper and the bumper at the junkyard was all rusted and uh, rusty and dented had a big crease on it and so I just uh, cut a little notch in the bumper and bent that piece out of the way and slid it out uh, so if you got a GMC just keep that in mind you probably have to remove the bumper or at least loosen it Chevy it's it's pretty straightforward uh, if you really want to make it easy, you can remove this, but you can work around it. I may not be able to work around it because I've got my uh, hitch here, but you just need to be able to get in here and hold this nut. Uh, and then, you know, put your bolt, bolt in. Bolt in goes from this side. What you're going to see is, of course, you won't have the hitch right here, but you'll have your frame here that you'll be able to see right through the hole in your bumper cover and right on the underside of the frame you have a bolt hole now that's where the bottom bolt goes through on the tow hooks so uh, if you happen to go to a junkyard just take a 18 millimeter that's all you need unless like i said unless it's a gmc uh, 18 millimeter socket and an 18 millimeter uh, box in wrench and so the tow hook itself is threaded so this bolt that goes up goes and threads into the tow hook now if you look right there see that hole in the side of the frame see my finger sticking through it you've got a hole that over here as well that goes through the tow hook. It'll make more sense. I'll mount one of them up and then you can kind of see what it's like with one mounted and with one off. I went ahead and pulled, since mine originally did not have a tow hook, it, um, my receiver hitch, front receiver hitch came with the bolt to put in there. So I've pulled that out. Now the receiver hitch will bolt through the tow hook uh, I did go get two longer bolts because the thickness of this, uh, you know, makes the bolt a little short. I think it might would have been okay, but just to be safe, I, I don't remember in the instructions. I think they said just reuse the bolt. I think it's the length is fine, but I went ahead and just bought a, a longer one just to, just to make myself feel better. So uh, I'm going to, I've got the 
I've cleaned up the two tow hooks I've got from the junkyard. I just touched them up with some paint and then I will show you what it looks like with them mounted. Like I said, if you go to the junkyard, I paid $16 each from Pick Apart. I thought that was a little pricey, but I don't know what the going rate is for these on eBay or somewhere like that. Uh, I will put the part numbers right here. There's a left and a right. So you could look up those part numbers. Maybe you can find them on eBay or whatever. Like I said, I pulled them off of GMC, but I checked the, the GM. After I pulled them off the GMC, then I found a Chevy that was just, the whole bumper was off, but the tow hooks were still there. So it would have been easier to pull it off the Chevy. But I went ahead and checked the part numbers on the Chevy and it was the same part number. So uh, it seems to be the same tow hook for Chevy or GMC, at least in the year range. I think that was about a 2001 or 2002 GMC that I pulled this off of. And then, you know, I think the Chevys are pretty much the same through the whole 99 through 06. I'm just not real sure on the GMCs. But if you've got a bumper that looks like this on a Chevy, then they should fit. Like I said, half ton, three quarter ton are different. So I'm gonna go get those hooks, tow hooks, and I'm gonna put one in and I'll show you what it looks like. And then I'll show you how the bolts bolt up. All right, so we're up under the Suburban. And you can see this bolt a little better here. So it goes through the frame. And like I said, I've got this hitch on here, so it kind of makes things difficult, but um, there's the nut. So feed it in from the outside in, and then put the nut on it. And then just snug up your bolt that goes up through from the bottom. That's it. Two bolts hold these things on. Now, I was able to get this thing on without taking the um, bumper cover off. Just kind of get this bolt or uh, get it started up in the frame. And, you know, the cover is flexible enough. You can just kind of work around and uh, bend it a little bit as needed to get this in here. And I'm sure you could probably get one off the same way. So I'm going to put a nut. I mean, a wrench over there, a ratchet over there, tighten that up, uh, snug this up. Like I said, I got a longer bolt here because I am going through my uh, hitch bracket, but if you don't have one of those, or possibly even if you do have one of those, you can use the stock bolt, which let me find it. Let me get out from under here. There's the stock bolt. I went ahead and got it when I got it in the junkyard. And then the long bolt that goes through the side is right here. So these came from the junkyard with the, so I got the hardware and the uh, hooks and, you know, just some clean it up, a little bit of paint on it. And I didn't bother painting the part that's not uh, in the frame, or that is in the frame. Just did the part that's exposed on the outside. That was really the only part that the paint was messed up. It was just chipped up around where stuff had either it had bumped into stuff or, you know, putting chains around it or whatever. First time I put a chain or first time I put a chain around it, it's gonna do the same thing. So is what it is anyway i'm gonna go mount this one up and i'll be done and we're done quick and easy tools really you need probably two 18s uh to do this and maybe an extra uh wrench just to double up on wrenches if they happen to be tight really tight but uh a ratchet wrench is really handy it's very tight quarters so you may not be able to get a ratchet in there if the bumper cover is still on if the bumper covers off uh you should have no problem getting a ratchet in there but if but if you don't want to take the bumper cover off it's doable with a boxed in wrench ratchet wrench makes it easy so um 
yeah there you go thanks for watching leave a comment down below hit the like button and subscribe for more